Today I'm gonna introduce you Intellect AI version 3, the latest version of Intellect AI. I will participate in the Aptos 2019 Blindness Detection Challenge on Kaggle. The challenge is about detecting severity of diabetic retinopathy looking at the retinal images of an eye. Diabetic retinopathy is an eye disease and one of the main causes of blindness in the aging population. Okay, I will start this demo by showing you how you can download and install Intellect AI in your computer or server. For that you need to go to the website of Intellect AI and press download and install button. Here you will see the GitHub page of Intellect AI installation. This page shows you step-by-step -step instruction about how you can install Intellect AI on your server. Okay, the next step is going back to the, the page of the blindness detection challenge on Kaggle. It joined the, the challenge, the competition, then accept the rules. After that you can go to data tab. Here you can read the description of the data that you are given. After that you can go and download all these data files by choosing them and pressing the download button. Okay, I'm gonna pause there and resume after I downloaded all the data. Okay, I have downloaded the files, the next step is uploading them to the Intellect AI server. For that I go to the to Intellect AI server. Okay, and then I go to the to the file explorer. Here I will use the upload button to upload all the files to the server. But first I will go to the datasets, create a new folder. Then I will upload all my files into this folder. All files have been uploaded. Now I will group the training data in a separate folder. Now I create a folder with name train. Now I will extract the training images. But before that I will create also a folder for the images. So and and extract it here. Okay, so the images have been extracted. Now I go to trainings to train a machine learning model on this training data. So I will choose the deep image classifier. In order to know uh, which kind of training data it requires, I will click on learn more. Here you can see the structure it requires. So you can put it either a in a separate folders, different classes in different folders, or you can create only one images folder for all the images and specify the labels or the classes of images in a labels.csv file. The labels CSV file itself should have this required format. More exactly, it should have the column file name with the names of the image files and the column with labels. 
so then I will go back and adapt the training dataset to this format. So we already have images in the images folder. I then need to adapt the training CSV file. At the moment it has columns ID code and diagnosis. Then I will just rename these columns to file name and label. I have renamed the columns. Let's check. Yeah, it's correct. I have also renamed the CSV file. Now it's label CSV. I think now we are ready to train a mod model. So I choose again deep image classifier. Let's choose the training data now. Train. It's validating the data set. As you can see, now it shows how many images each class has. It looks okay to me, so I confirm. Um, I don't choose test data, it's optional. So shrink factor, the images themselves are very big, so I will shrink them 10 times in order to make the training a bit fast and let's give the name to our training blindness detection low resolution okay we created the training now we can see the the basic info about our training. Let's switch to the data tab. So the data tab shows our training data and if you chose the test data you could also choose here test and check out the, uh, the test data. So these are, and these are our classes. It also shows how many images each class has so these, these are now the class 0. If you have read the description of the data, class 0 means no diabetic retinopathy. So here you see the images without any disease. You can go ahead and check the next ones. You can Okay, let's go and check the class 1 mild DR. Here you can see a bit blood leaks here. You also see this bright pass. Here, here you can see if we go to class 2. So the now the severity increases here you can already see some yellow spots. How about three? Oh, yellow spots increased. We have now many of them. And the most severe one, yeah, so they look like this. So now I will go ahead and start the training. Training has started and I will get back to you after it finishes. The training has finished. Let's check the results. So we can see how training loss decreased by time. We also see that they were two trainings, meaning it trained two models and compared and probably chose the best one. So let's check the training summary. 
it shows that it, it ran 23 hours and got accuracy 80%. So we here also see the confusion matrix, classifies matrix, and rock curves for each class. We can also check the final predictions. You see here the for this image true was one and predicted zero. So it actually starts showing the the wrong predictions and if you go further you will start seeing the the right predictions. So for example you can go very to the very last image so and these are the the right predictions and you can see the overall accuracy is 80 percent okay so let's go back now what we can do um, is we can increase the the input size to the model or we can shrink the original images a bit less it can give a better results because as we see the the things it should detect are very small objects and and these artifacts can disappear if we shrink the images too much so now i will edit the training and shrink the original images only five times okay so it reset the progress because we changed the inputs and now i will start training again and come back to you after it finishes the training has finished you see the new input size is 428 by 307 let's check the training summary as you see here the accuracy is 85 percent and in total it, it ran five days so it was one day 23 hours actually now it's five days so it it ran four more days and the confusion matrix now seems better and you can see the, the another matrix classifies matrix and rock curves and predictions you can see here the next I want to do is deploying this model so it was deployed now I need to find image to test it so that's why I will actually extract test images okay wait now I would like to inference this image so the result shows three if you would like to see the even the explanation why it's three uh, we can check the show explanation box choose the same image and inference it again you see that it looked at the yellow spots here which seems like a logical thing to do now if you would like to inference all the test images uh, you can go to file explorer 
our data set extract the test images but before that I should create a folder for that move the zip file here and now extract here good now we can go to tasks let's name it blindness detection task and choose the folder where our images are okay and I add the task you see the uh, the images in the test images folder and you also see the results you see that not all of them have results and what you can do is you can wait until all the images have been inferenced then you can go ahead and download them in CSV format and use it outside of Intellect AI. Okay, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time.